Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian, a medical student from Australia. And today I'm joined by my girlfriend, Deborah, and my brother, Scott. What's up guys? And I'm gonna be asking them some questions about me to see who knows me better because I'm out of video ideas and this is a little bit of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have these two whiteboards, Scott and Deborah, and they're gonna write their answers on the whiteboards. I'm gonna write my answer here and we'll see who can score the most points by the end of the questions. We're gonna start off easy. So question one is what is my favorite color? <laughs> that is way too easy. So what do you guys have? Orange. Yep, that is correct. Orange is my favorite color. All right, so tied up one all. Next question is how many kids do I want in the future? Oh, okay. Oh, this is a bit of a... Thing is, you said so many different things. Three, two, one. Five. Five kids, you both got it right. Yep. That's it, that's what I wanted. A little bit different. I don't think these guys will know this one, but who was my teenage celebrity crush? Is this a girl or a guy? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hope it's a girl, oh, but who was my teenage celebrity crush? Halsey, Taylor Swift. Uh, Halsey. Taylor Swift, Halsey. Halsey. <laughs> Never got it Halsey. correct, it's Halsey, yeah. Okay, next question is, how many sports have I played in my life? You have to clarify. A sport can be anything... No, no, like properly played or you played once or twice? Properly played. So not, 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 just, competed. not just recreational, but like I joined a team. Okay. One, three. One, two, three. Two. Five. Oh, T-Wall. Five. Scott's the closest. <laughs> Technically, if you count swimming. I, well, I consider swimming, you said you didn't compete in swimming though. But we both were part of like a club and a team and we did it for years. But you didn't compete. We never competed. You said... Okay, you okay. Then, then, Scott, then Scott got a credit. Next question. Why was I given the name Sebastian? Come on, Dad, I've told you the story, you should know this. One, two, three. Justice. Dad, Dad liked, liked athletics. athletics. Dad's favorite runner oh, was named Sebastian Co. Famous 400 meter runner. Nailed it. Scott yeah, gets easy, the point. Easy. easy. No, I thought you meant the Justice. definition. The no, definition. no, why is the point there? Oh, come on. I knew you were named after the runner. What we'll do is we'll give we'll give Dev a point there because the, the, the question was a little bit Sorry? confusing. I don't think you guys will know the answer to this one because I don't think I've really talked about it much. But if I could be any animal in the world, what would I be? You yeah, haven't spoken question. about that. If, if, is this? if you're the closest person will get a point because it's a the hard closest. question. The closest. I'm sure you're not a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's so cute. One, two, three. Eagle. Jaguar. Deborah's the closest. Actually? It's Cheetah. Oh, I thought Cheetah was my second. Cheetah. I thought, I, I thought it was way too easy to be <laughs> Cheetah. Yeah. No. Alright, here's another easy one. Quick one. Um, what is my favorite computer game? The reason why he doesn't and I'm sure, attention. And I'm sure some of you guys will know the answer to this as well. One, three. One, two, three. League of Legends. LOL. League of Legends. Yeah, you both got it right. right. Nice. So what word do I say too often? You can spin your board rounds when you're ready. Alright, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. So, just, Deb's got it. Hey. So, what is my all-time favorite quote? One, two, three. Dreams are the magic that stirs men's souls to greatness. And the greatest inborn human error is that we expect happiness by it's neither of them. Nah. So my favorite quote is, consistent effort, not strength or intelligence, is the key to unlocking your true potential by Winston Churchill. Can I just say, when I first met him, he said that this was hands down his favorite. It's actually taped to his cabinet over there. Okay, is this a void? his favorite, it, favorite quote of all time. This is a void. Yeah, let's just avoid the question, avoid the question. All right. What medical specialty at the moment am I most interested in going into in the future? If you get the top two, one of the top two, I'll give you the answers to right, Hopefully I get this. Three, two, one. Infectious disease, neurology. One, two. So okay, yeah. both you get you both get a point. Alas. <laughs> Alas, Scott scores a point. If you guys are medical students, what um, specialties are you guys thinking of doing? And Deborah, if you don't already know, is a medical student as well. What do you want to do when you when you get older there? Oh, that's up for date. I haven't quite done our placements yet, but um, I think endocrinology or maybe surgery could be interesting. Yeah. We'll see though. That really changes. So we're at karaoke. What song would I choose if I was to sing a karaoke song by myself? One, two, three. Sword weather. Oh, I think it's fast still. Mmm. Deb got it. Oh, is yeah. it actually? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard Deb got it. that on. Sword weather, the neighborhood. What is the first console game I've ever played? I never played games. Yes. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. 
Raymond, Crash That's Bandicoot great. or Spyro? Scott's got it. Which one was it? Probably Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, From funny. memory, my first game that I ever played properly on console was Crash Bandicoot. Is Raymond a game? Rayman. Oh. Not Raymond. Not the name Raymond, it's Rayman. <laughs> the game is called Rayman. My parents used to say that I used to do the little Crash Bandicoot dance yeah. when I was like a little kid. Can you so, do it, now for it was pretty cringy, but can you, you can go look that up. I'm not going to perform it here. So, what was my favorite subject in high school? Well, this is actually hard because he liked a lot of certain aspects about certain subjects. So yeah. it's like, I know what it's not. What is it not? It's not English. Okay, yeah, it's not English. Yep. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Chemistry. Physics. Scott nailed it. Yes. <laughs> You was, like physics? It was physics. It was my favorite subject in high school. So he enjoyed I really, physics, I really, but he wouldn't help me when I was doing <laughs> physics in year 12. I found um, mathematics, especially four-year yeah, mathematics, was... extremely hard, but Scott over here, he's oh, the... I, I enjoyed maths. He's the mathematics he's genius. He's the actual smart one of the family. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's doing bloody... I'm better than seven maths. Than... <laughs> what celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks or for a cup of coffee? All right, one, two, three. Jordan B. Peterson. Jordan Peterson. No! Mm. Is it no, James it's Blunt? James Blunt! No! It's James Blunt, see? No! See, I haven't heard you say I would like to have a cup of coffee with James Blunt ever. <laughs> Next one. So, what was my first job? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Dishwasher at a cafe. Yeah, washing, washing dishes. dishes waiter, yeah. That was my first job. You both how, much, it. how much were you getting paid? I was getting paid $8.80 Australian. Per hour. Okay, another easy question is what is my favorite flavor of ice cream? I think I know it. Oh wait. Favorite oh. flavor of ice cream. Oh, I nearly forgot it actually. One, two, three. Chocolate, cookies and cream. It's got yeah, it. Yeah, I thought of chocolate, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. Cookies and cream, then. Dev, if you really knew Seb, you would have known that one. What alcoholic drink do I usually order oh. at the bar? Okay. I haven't gone drinking with you much. Yeah, Dev's probably got the advantage on this one. One, three. One, two, three. Put Karazri lemonade. Put Karazri. We both got it. Yes. That was it. <laughs> Funny when yeah. the guy grows up and gets a pink drink. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. We're in 2020. You guys, can you guys can order the girly drinks. If I want to get a vodka raspberry, that's okay. Yeah, thanks, so, The next question, um, it's not about me, but it's a speed question. So first one to shout out the answer wins. Shout out the answer. Yep, shout out the answer. So 89 times 47. Oh, what, what the, the hell? hell? <laughs> uh, you're trolling, right? You, you're, you're actually trolling. I'm not doing it. How many exams have I failed in my life? One, two, three. One, one, hey. one. Yeah, yeah, you all got it right. So what exam was, was it? One? Physics. The math. Physics exam. But then you failed some maths one in uni. It was like a hot, it was like a... No, no, I passed. Summer. I got eight out of 15. Okay, then easy one. How tall am I in centimeters? Why can't it be inches? Centimeters is more accurate. We use the metric system, Deborah. I know, but you always tell me your height in inches. But Seb's a bit, he, he seems to fluctuate in height for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what happens, but. Three, one, two, three. 180. 180, yeah, you got it. Um, which part of my body has a birthmark? Okay, three, two, one. Back of the neck. Back of the neck, yep, that's correct. Right. So I have a little birthmark with no hair grows at the back of my neck, so I get like a little spike. Um, maybe you can see. Um, right. Hairdressers are always like, yeah. what, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, what have I done? Did I accidentally cut yeah. a bit off? They say uh, birthmarks are where you were killed in your previous life or something. Scott. You must have okay. pissed someone off. Must have got so I must have had an axe to the back so of my neck. Really understandable. <laughs> See, I died peacefully in my sleep then in my past life. <laughs> you, got, you got no birthmarks. So if I didn't get into medicine, what was my plan C? Not my next best yeah. thing that I wanted to do, my second next best thing that I wanted to do. One, two, three. Science teacher, teaching science. Yep, both okay. got it. Okay, that's right. All right, so tiebreaker questions. If anybody gets this right without the other person getting it right, then they win. We have bragging rights. Um, <laughs> you have bragging rights, that's it. Okay, so the question is, what was the name of the band for which I attended my first concert? Oh no, Deb's writing something. She seems like she no, knows the answer. Been, I don't know if you've been to their concert though. Oh, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? I just can't. Okay. Okay. You're not, you're Three, two, one. I think Deb got it. No, 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 none, no, none, no, none of you got it right. Wait. Oh, that's the one. Oh. Yeah, I think it was a smaller band. It was this. This is too. 1975 big. Nineteen seventy-five is too big. Pa the paper kites. 
Is that the one where yeah. you're third wheeling your friends? Yep, a third, oh. a third wheel no, I know the situation, yeah. I know yeah. the situation. All right, so still for the tiebreaker question. Question is, what song have I performed live in front of 200 people before? No. <gasps> no. Wait, yes. That's not fair. One, two, three. <laughs> Daniel Bedingfield, I don't want to run away. Scott, instead of singing. I had a completely different thing. When did you sing this live? This is the first time, mate. We both sang together. See, even Devin, yeah. you didn't even, you got this wrong. <laughs> I didn't even do it. That was, this is the truth. This is truth, like this is the truth, isn't it? So we were actually right. No, no, but well, I, I was actually right. Still for the tiebreaker. What's the name of the of the brand or the model of the pair of shoes um, for which I had to buy a replacement pair? Converse, Converse, yeah. Chuck yeah, Taylor's? Yeah, Chuck Taylor's. Yeah, yeah black white. I got the I win. No, no, I just said the brand. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is bull. This is actually real. You, you started the question off, what is the type of shoe? Go back to the recording of that. Brand or the model. What bone have I broken before? When did you break your bone? Well, you should know the step. You should know the step. Broke his arm. I'm not a doctor. Maybe it's a tibia. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I got a haircut, which you guys seem to have liked, but I've also had times when I've had terrible haircuts. And so, how many times in my life have I had a buzz cut? Okay, you got an answer? You both got an answer? Okay, on three. One, two, three. What? Twice. One. It's Scott's, twice, the, right? Scott's the victor. Scott's the, the winner. Scott wins. You got it when you're younger as well. Like, yep, Scott you wins. You got it once again. So, I got a buzz cut when I was I won, guys. <laughs> it's alright. Thanks so much. Uh, it's victory speech. Uh, Debra, you're a worthy opponent. Uh, obviously, I was just better on the day. Um, I'd like to thank my mum and dad. Um, I'd like to thank Seb. Giving this opportunity to be here today. And, and here's your prize. For Blow's love and support. So, unfortunately, Deb, you have lost this battle. Alright guys, well that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you guys learned something new about me or just um, found this entertaining. I'd like to thank Scott and Deb for making it to yeah. the video. And if you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see more content. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ruin it for you. <laughs> no, right. But until next time, this is Sebastian. This is Deborah. This is Scott. And stay, stay sharp. sharp. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe.